I've done a great deal of fighting, namely in professional practice I've fought to make buildings useful and beautiful and in that order. There's a dimension which I deal with time and the dimension which I deal with space and um, even with existence. So I can take those three separately. Um, and the thing I would like to say about time now is that um, we architects take our program and say that is the function of the building. If you look at Venice, the first program of a building was maybe one of 30 programs that building has had from the year 800 to the year 2016. So that the first function of a building as described by the program is far from the only thing you should think of. And that's my view of time, time in relation to function. My feeling is that when architects report from the front, they cause a lot of harm and chaos. And one of my cries now is architects still have not learned it's not enough to just look in on your own navel, say, what did Le Corbusier do? Let's learn, learn from other architects how to design cities. You really have to open a wider window. So if you define the front as what Le Corbusier is doing or what the next one is doing and not ask what some other factors are in urbanism, you'll be more of the problem and less of the solution. I stopped my photography in about 1968. We continued to use the photography in various ways in our Signs of Life show, many of the ways of analyzing photography. Then we began to use it in design. And then when I left practice and I began to write this book about how photography has worked along with architecture for me, and the conclusion of the book is that over my career, photography has changed from being um, a record making and a kind of um, Cecil Beaton of beautiful buildings. From that to all these methods of using it and ending up that photography has become a sub-discipline of architecture as important as architectural history or structures or any of the others. So that's my conclusion. I'm a role model now. Um, and I'm happy to do that and I have to think of imaginative ways to get across not only to these feminist young women of whom I am now a feminist old woman but also to lots of people and to think very hard about how I do that as a huge responsibility. I did say judge me by my work and I'd love to still say that and I do still say that but I realize that I have to tell young women Seek ye the political kingdom, and all shall be given unto you. And I'm quoting certain African independent activists and rebels who said that. But also, for God's sake, remember why you came into architecture. What made you follow your bliss? What was the bliss in architecture? And learn how to do that in the office. Learn how to make your bosses rely on you enough to give you the possibility of doing what turns you on. One thing is you can't predict the future. And as a planner, I have to say, allow the options to be open. So I hope the work I've done does give many different kinds of options for architects. It says, look at your times carefully, and work out what's needed and use what you need from me if there is anything you need from me to face your own problems as squarely as the early modernists tried to follow theirs.